Hi, I'm Mike Fonte. I'm here today at Music Studios LA talking about the TC Electronic Wiretap Riff Recorder. So what I thought I'd do was take you guys through my creative process, how I would construct a song using the wiretap. First thing I want to do is just look for some riffs that would be a good basis for a song. And uh, I know that I want to play an A minor. And we'll just keep jamming around until I come up with something that I like. Okay, that, that one was decent. Let's just hear that back and see if we like that. Okay, not bad. And um, notice that I can play on top of what I just recorded just to kind of mess around and experiment with that. So um, I'd like to come up with two more riffs before I construct a song with it. So let me keep jamming around. And maybe one more. Okay, so at this point, I have three riffs inside the wiretap. Let's go ahead and look at those. And we can sort of uh, audition them to see which ones we like. Okay, I like that riff, so um, let's go ahead and send this into the computer so we can work on that some more. One important thing to understand is how the wiretap pedal and the wiretap app sync up. It doesn't do it for you automatically. You actually choose which ones you want to send. So say I want to take ideas that I've recorded out of the studio or I want to send um, an idea to Dropbox or to my friends, I'm going to need to sync the ideas up to the phone. So it's really easy to do that. All we do is take the idea of the riff and swipe from the left side and the pedal sends the idea into the phone. So now it's in the phone, we can take it wherever we want. So now to send the file to Dropbox, all we need to do is click on the file itself. We need to click this little share button in the upper left hand corner and then choose save to Dropbox. And I've already made a folder inside of Dropbox called wiretap files, so I'm going to save it there and it's now going to upload to my Dropbox. Now that I've sent my ideas to Dropbox, I can share them with anybody. I can share them with my bandmates, with a producer, or in this case, I'm gonna send it to my computer so I can work on it inside my DAW. Once you've recorded your ideas in the wiretap, it auto-generates names so that each recording will have a unique name. But you may want to name it your own name so that you can reference it later. So now we put together a little song just using the riffs that I recorded into the wiretap riff recorder. So everyone's creative process is going to be a little bit differently. They're going to use the riff recorder in different ways. Uh, I think my way is I like to experiment with things at first without any preconceived ideas and then capture it, get it into the DAW and start to see what I can create from that. This has been Mike Fonte with the Wiretap Riff Recorder. If you'd like to check out more of my stuff, please visit MikeFonte.info.